Now, you can see I have the meter connected to those two pins um, that goes to the uh, line pressure solenoid. And you see the meter is reading 113.1. Now, that's what that bad solenoid on there. And you know the reading is supposed to be between 2 point something to 7 something ohms, okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down and disconnect that bad solenoid and put the new solenoid on. When I disconnect it, it should go to, I think, OL. We'll see. And then, when I hook the other one up, it should show the proper resistance. So, I'm going to keep it on here. When I disconnect it, you should see it. See, I disconnected it. There's nothing in there. So, OL. So let's put the new, the new one on. All right, so you see it's at 4.6. Okay, so that's what it would look like if we tested it here. The thing is, when testing the solenoid from the computer, you're far away from it. So if you get some type of reading and it's wrong, like one point, like uh, 130 something like it was showing, then you say, okay, at least you're on the right path. But it could be the wiring that's the issue. It could be a broken wire, a corroded wire. So you got to work yourself to the solenoid. So you can choose to go to the computer or go directly to the solenoid by disconnecting the case connector. If you, the solenoid read fine, then you know you got to go backtrack. And you got to see, well, maybe it's the wire harness. In this case, again, he had two problems. One, it was the wire harness, did a wiggle test. It was showing erratic reading. After that was fixed, then did a uh, uh, check the solenoid directly at the case connector. It also showed bad readings. Take the solenoid out, check it directly at the solenoid. Bad reading, bad solenoid. Change the solenoid. Okay, let me see if I can get you a better view of this valve body here. You, the EPC solenoid is right here, the line pressure solenoid or EPC. Okay, you have a solenoid here, a solenoid here, and you have solenoids on this side. One, two, three. Um, so the one that we worked on was this one here. This is the one that was causing the issue where the computer can see that there was a problem with the resistance and if there's a problem with the resistance then there's going to be a problem with the amps because too much is going to be going through or not going through one of the two now in this case if the resistance went up then the this shouldn't be the amperage this should be blocking the amps coming through because the resistance went up Okay. Now the only thing left is just to put the scrape this stuff off. You can go back up with silicone. It did, or they sell a valve body gasket. You scrape this off and put a, a valve body, um, not valve body, a pan gasket on, and then you'll be fill it up. You'll be ready to go.